Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Brown and this is Jennifer Anastasi. Um, today for our vlog, what we're going to be talking at Elite Social Management is myth or facts when it comes to likes. A lot of customers and a lot of businesses look at their fa Facebook fan page and they notice that uh, maybe they're not getting as, as many likes as they had wanted to or they're comparing themselves to someone else and seeing that, wow, they have 20,000 likes or 30,000 likes. What's your take on if people should measure their success based on the number of likes that they are seeing. Well, that's definitely a myth that we address every day here at Elite Social Management. Uh, whether you're a celebrity, whether you're a brand, or whether you're a business, success is not measured in how many likes you have. What I tend to advise people to look at is their monthly active users. You're, you're going to see on a successful page, the monthly active users is going to be higher than the likes. And you know that your base is engaging and wanting to seek out your information that way. So if you have, let's say you have 100 likes, but you have 500 monthly active users and that number is going up, then you're continuing to trend in the right direction. Right, right. Yes, we all know that getting another like is definitely an ego boost, yes. right? We'd love to see somebody else that becomes a fan of the page. And eventually, if you're doing things right, that's going to happen naturally. But you also just have to think about what the type of business is that you have. So, for example, a good uh, example of this would be maybe a weight loss company. You know, when you like a page, it's usually shown to your friends what page you like. Well, maybe you're a little embarrassed. Maybe you don't want to show that you know you like a weight loss page, but you're going to go to their page to look and seek out that information. Now, That's where can people go to see? Um, for people that might not know, if I don't see the likes, where can I see my fan? My so the monthly reviews? active users and the other um, information you can see, it's in Facebook under your business page. When you go into edit page, you'll find it under the insights tab, and that's where you can see this trend. Now, the other thing you want to think about is unlikes. So with Facebook likes, you definitely see the trend moving in the right direction, going up, your monthly active users are going up. What should send up a red flag? And one of the things that should send up a red flag is if you're seeing people that previously liked your page actually taking the time and the effort to go through the process of unliking it. First, most, user, most users will hide your post and Facebook in the last uh, few days has actually changed that yes, and it's again, rolling through. Once again. once again, another Facebook change and it's rolling through the Facebook universe. So, you know, you might see it on your page today, you might see it tomorrow, but previously, uh, Facebook users could hide a, a certain stream of information without actually going through the process of unliking. But again, my point is, if you're seeing your, your numbers trend in the right direction and then you start to see these red flags of unlikes, take a look at what you're doing from a content perspective. Are you over-engaging? Um, are you under-engaging? Are you saying something that's maybe offensive to your base, to the fans? There's a reason why they're going through the process to unlike. Most Facebook users as of today, and this may change with this functionality change, but right now most Facebook users, um, the majority of them have never ever even unliked a page or know how to use that feature. So once again, you can go back to, to insights, mm -hmm. look at the trend to see if you noticed a big drop during this particular period and go back and look at your content. Right, what so what I'll saying. do is, say for instance on August 21st, you know, last month I saw uh, one or two unlikes and that's enough for me to do an investigation. Right. I'm gonna go back to see what did we say on those days, was there something that could be misconstrued and take it as constructive criticism and take it to heart. So, you know, one of the things that we always uh, look at is if there's any unlikes, it's worth the time as a page owner to try to figure out why. Now you're not gonna always know those answers, but sometimes you can make a pretty educated decision as to why you lost a fan that day. Sounds good. Yep. So it sounds like when it comes to likes and measuring your success as a business owner that increased likes at a certain rate is not one that you'd want to measure your success on. It's to really look right. at the overall uh, picture through insights, if, for example, if you're using the social media of Facebook. so Exactly. All right. Well, until next time, thank you. Thanks, guys.